my brothers as you have been told your presence here is voluntary if any of you have second thoughts you may retire now thank you for attending Good day, my lords. I did not expect to see you at Canterbury. Do you still disagree with my decision? Your Grace, can nothing persuade you to delay? Oh, yes. The King's arrest of Lord Gilbert on the charge of sacrilegious murder. There will be an arrest, but not Lord Gilbert. The Sheriff of London is waiting in the sacristy. He has orders to summon you before the King's Grand Justicer the instant you pronounce the excommunication. Curious. On what charge? Embezzlement. The king finds that there are large sums of money missing from the treasury during your administration as chancellor. How much? 40,000 pounds in fine gold. <laughs> there was never that much gold in the whole treasury. I beg of you, do not do this. You will strike a blow that will split church and state for a generation. If I do not strike it now, the church, as we know it, will not survive a generation. God will see that it survives. No. The kingdom of God must be defended like any other kingdom. Gentlemen, it is a supreme irony that the worldly Becket, the profligate and libertine, should find himself standing here at this moment. But here he is, in spite of himself. But the king, for good or ill, chose to pass the burden of the church on to me, and now I must carry it. I've rolled up my sleeves and taken the church on my back. Nothing will ever make me set it down again. Now, Lord, if you will forgive me. Gilbert, Baron of England by the grace of His Majesty King Henry II, seized upon the person of a priest of the Holy Church and unlawfully did hold him in custody. Furthermore, in the presence of Lord Gilbert and by his command, his men seized upon this priest when he tried to escape and put him to death. This is the sin of murder and sacrilege. In that, Lord Gilbert has rendered no act of contrition or repentance and is at the moment at liberty in the land. We do here and now separate him from the precious body and blood of Christ and from the society of all Christians. We exclude him from our Holy Mother Church and all her sacraments in heaven 
or on earth. We declare him excommunicate and anathema. We cast him into the outer darkness. We judge him damned with the devil and his fallen angels and all the reprobate to eternal fire and everlasting pain.